Let's go ahead and cut these up. I can feel them, they're nice and tender. That's the beauty of the outside skirts. They're always gonna be really nice and tender. I can't help myself, sorry. Mm. So you already know that the traditional and most popular fajita is the inside skirt cut of beef. But today I'm gonna show you the other cut of fajita, which is the other true skirt steak, the outside fajita. It's a little smaller, but much bigger in tenderness, softer and easier to chew, and great tasting and delicious beefy flavor. We're gonna trim it, season it up, no marinade this time, it really doesn't need it. Then I'll cook it hot and fast to show you how it's done. And as a bonus, I'll show you a little bit about another type of meat called the sirloin fajita. It's very popular in Texas. However, it's actually a flat meat, not really a true fajita, nor even a skirt steak. But like I said in the previous video, the word fajita basically means little belt or strip. So a faja is a belt or a strip. Fajita just means it's a little smaller, it's a little strip. Confused yet? It's okay. I used to be too. Now let's fire it up and talk more about fajitas. The fajita is a skirt. In the skirt steak category, there's really only two. One is the outside skirt steak and the other one is the inside skirt steak. This is called the outside skirt. It is thinner in width, whereas the inside skirt is usually a little bit wider, about like that. It comes with a very thick piece of skin like this. You gotta take this off to uh, be able to season it and for your seasoning and your rub to really penetrate the meat. This is the quote unquote sirloin fajita. Now I cut this when it was a little bit longer strip about you know the length of this cutting board. The inside skirt as I showed y'all in the other video and in the pictures you can see the strip is like really long you know I mean they, they can be this long and even longer depends on the size of the cow. But the sirloin fajita or the flat meat is really generally about maybe this long. I cut a piece off, we cooked it last week, but look how thick it is. I mean, I'm gonna use my knife as a reference here. It's a very thick piece of meat. And a lot of times the way we see it in the meat market down here, it's already been what they call butterflied, which means uh, basically filleted into halves. And to, for reference, you can see here the thickness between the two meats here. That's the outside skirt. This is the sirloin flat meat fajita, which is way, way thicker. It's very, very fat, very thick. You put them side by side like that, you can see big, big difference. I'm gonna set this sirloin fajita aside for a little bit. Let's see if we can get some of this skin off of this uh, outside skirt, so you can get an idea of what it looks like underneath. Generally, it doesn't peel off too well. Sometimes, if the meat's really cold, it'll peel off a little bit easier than this, and you don't have to rob any meat of it, but right now it's giving me a hard time, so I am going to use the knife a little bit. Let me get rid of that. So you can see the, th this is an aged one, so it's got a little age on it. You can tell the color's a little bit darker. All that means is good flavor. One of the big benefits to the outside skirt like this, outside fajita, outside skirt, call it whatever you want, it is thinner uh, in width, about the same thickness as your inside skirt, but this is a very tender piece of meat. So it's usually harder to find. I think they save these for the restaurant industry, much like the brisket, the very, very best brisket go to the restaurant industry. But if you can find some outside skirt like this, man, oh man, you're in for a treat. Very, very tender very moist, very juicy piece of meat, very delicious. But man, I'm here to tell you, you don't need no marinade, you don't need no tenderizer, you don't need anything. That is a good piece of meat, very tender. All right, we just about got most of this. Let's try to finish this off here. I'm talking too much, ain't I? All right, cool, there we go. Remember that fat is flavor. You wanna leave some of this fat on there, some of it's gonna melt off. This is really a soft fat here. Uh, it's not like that outside skin that was on there. Some of this fat is actually very soft, gonna melt right off when you throw it on a raging hot grill. How do you cook these? Just like a ribeye, just like a New York strip. Like most steaks, you're gonna to wanna to cook it really hot and fast. 
So I'm gonna break this down into three pieces here. We're gonna season it up in a little bit and, and go outside and put it on the grill. We're gonna use a little bit of wow here. I highly recommend it because I created it especially for fajitas and steaks, chops, anything you grill hot and fast on the steak. This does a great job. Use whatever you like. Highly recommend mine. Let me go ahead and season the other side. All right, we've got these outside skirts seasoned up. Let's get fired up outside. Go light that barbecue pit and start cooking some good fajitas. Got a nice hot fire going there. A little bit of sizzle, not too much, but sounds good to me. All right, you wanna put them right over that fire. Got a little flame kissed action going on. That really adds that mired reaction that they call it, that char, that crust, that adds so much good flavor to the meat. And again, like I've said before, you wanna use what I call the flippity flip technique. See how that got nice and brown already? Wasn't on there but 30, 40 seconds. Same thing on this one. See how it turned brown? I'm gonna do this one the other way, Just like that. These are gonna be done in about three or four minutes. They ain't gonna take very long at all. Look at that flame. Looking good, Papa. Look at that sizzle. Look at that, oh, I love that. Look at that gorgeous color there. There we go, man, these are done just about. Didn't take but a couple of minutes. Now these outside skirts are soft, they're tender. You can cook them medium, medium rare, medium well. Whatever you prefer. I like them right around medium myself. All right, here comes that flame back again. Let's flip them. Flippity flip, flippity flip. I'm gonna bet money these are done. For sure, that little one. Let's see where we're at on the temperature here. 147, 156, 149-ish, 160. Yep, they're done, folks. They are done, done. Woof, that fire's hot. Let's take them out. They look really nice. Look at the pretty color they got on there. Man, they look gorgeous. Look at that. Just so pretty. Just a really nice color on the meat. We're gonna take this one right here and uh, I'm gonna cut this one in half. You can see there it's a pretty, pretty little pink. Just a really nice medium, maybe medium well a little bit. Uh, tiny bit more than I wanted, but I think they just finished cooking a little bit more in the foil while I was setting the cameras back up inside. So let's go ahead and cut these up. I can feel them, they're nice and tender. That's the beauty of the outside skirts. They're always gonna be really nice and tender. I can't help myself, sorry. Mm, wow. Yeah, soft, tender, juicy. Man, oh man, I love that. Excellent. All right, I was in the car business many years, and so on trucks, we always had bed liners to protect the bed uh, from getting scratched, dented, and beat up. We're gonna use this as a bed liner on our tacos. So you spread it all the way around that tortilla, and I'm just gonna lay some of my fajitas on here like this. Make it nice and fat. Ooh, that looks good, man, I like that. Yeah, buddy. All right, cool, man. I love to make fat tacos. I call them taconones. Anyway, <laughs> also gonna drizzle a little bit of my homemade salsa. This is really good. And uh, in case you haven't figured it out, I like my stuff a little bit hot. And we're gonna take a little bit of this fresh chopped serrano peppers. I love that stuff too, man. And a nice squeeze of lime. Yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about right there. Mm. Mm. All right, in that case, I'm just gonna take me a big old bite. Mmm. I 
That's really good, honey. You need to get you a taco. Man, oh man. Today happened to be Friday. So we're gonna call this Fajita Friday. All right, good stuff. Wow. If you guys have any questions about the inside outside skirt, I'm trying to kind of cover it all for you guys. But if you have any questions, put them in the comment below. Tell me which fajita you like, put it in the comments. Don't, re don't forget to like the video if you got some value out of it. And if you like the video, hit that big old like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell button too, so you don't miss any videos from Arnie Tech. Folks, thank you so much. Again, ring that bell so you don't miss any videos. Keep the smoke light, make it work. Boom.